This Safety Minutes video is brought to you by the Safety Coaches. What do you need to know about MRI safety? Both clinical and non-clinical personnel need to be aware of the dangers posed by the MRI unit. The magnet is always on, even when a patient is not being scanned, and even if the power is out. Most MRI events occur because someone assumed that the magnet was off. Missile events are the most critical safety issue for non-MRI personnel entering the MRI environment. The magnetic field of the MRI extends out from the magnet in all directions, and if a metal object is introduced into the MRI suite or room, it will be drawn suddenly and with great force to the center of the magnet. This is called a missile effect as the attracted object becomes a dangerous projectile. This effect can pose great danger for the patient inside of the scanner, as well as anyone within the path of the projectile. Potential missiles include electronic devices, crash carts, anesthesia carts, oxygen tanks, cleaning carts and equipment, and scissors or hemostats. If you are accompanying a patient, the MRI tech will work closely with you to ensure all potential missiles have been removed from your person. Screening of both patients and staff is vital for safety within the MRI environment. All MRI patients are screened thoroughly prior to entering the MRI suite. The process starts with an MRI safety sheet to ensure that the patient does not have any medically inserted devices or external objects that are contraindicated for the MRI environment. For inpatients, this process begins with an interview from the nurse and the safety sheet is sent to MRI. The MRI tech will then fully investigate the safety of any medically implanted devices. The MRI tech will then fully interview the patient prior to the MRI exam. Personnel will also be screened with a similar sheet to make sure that it is safe for them to enter the environment if they are doing so to care for a patient. Potential internal and external dangers for the MRI environment include medically implanted devices, medication patches, magnetic eyelashes, metallic makeup, jewelry, body piercings, dry fit activewear, and tattoos. The reason these objects are potential dangers is because metal or skin-to-skin -skin contact can actually cause that skin to heat up in the MRI environment. Here we see some images from MRIQ.com of a tattoo-related thermal injury. Skin-to-skin -skin contact while the patient was in the MRI suite. A pulse ox thermal injury. An EKG lead thermal injury. And this is from the dry fit activewear like yoga pants that have thin metallic fibers within. So there is a burn danger for our patients as well. Points to remember are the magnet is always on. The MRI unit can only be turned off by an MRI tech with a quench. Patients are removed from the MRI suite in the event of a medical emergency. Compressions are started and continued as the patient is moved to a predetermined safe location away from the MRI suite. Never enter an MRI suite without clearance from an MRI staff member. Anyone entering that suite must first be screened. Remove all metallic objects before entering the room. This includes badges, pens, hemostats, credit cards, and voceras. Never introduce a piece of equipment into the suite without clearance from an MRI technologist. And communicate safety concerns or potential issues. Always comply with safety sheet requirements. And if you 